Now I'll show you how to set up a position in Hiox Chess Explorer. The easiest way to do that is just go to the icon here, which is for setup position. Click on that once and it brings up the setup position dialog. From here, there's a variety of different ways you can set up the position. You can just move the pieces. If you'd like to uh, set up a sort of fairly standard openings position. If you want to get back to the original uh, on, uh, reset the board position to the opening position, just hit reset. Of course you can use these buttons at the side to place particular pieces. So if I, if I press the clear button to clear the board, you can uh, just set it up with particular pieces like this. Remember you do have to set it up in a legal position, so there have to be kings on the board, they can't be in check, things like that. So even something like that is fine. You can set up um, which side it is to move. At the moment, it's set for the piece, uh, the white pieces to move. If you click that once, you can choose the black pieces to move. And just for the sake of the notation, you can change the moon that move number as well. We talked uh, in an earlier video about copying and pasting positions and copying and pasting fens being the same thing. Well, um, this is here. You can copy the fen, so that will copy, which is actually this notation here. Or if you've uh, copied a fen from somewhere else, you can just paste that straight in to get that position. Um, the only other thing we want to look at is if you set up an end game position. Oh, actually, just before we do, I'll show you that once you're ready to go, just simply click OK. Obviously, that position will be set up. Um, but what I wanted to show you is how to set up an ending position which will access the online end game table bases. So let's see how we do. That's actually, in fact, that's actually done that straight away there. You can see it's actually come up with uh, end game databases. It's a draw after Queen H4. So uh, black can force a draw in that position. Let's choose another one just to show you that that wasn't a fluke. We'll reset it and we'll clear it. Just a very, very basic position. It's, uh, there we go. One versus two pawns. We'll set it as white to move, see what happens. Click OK. And there you go, the end game database has come back almost instantly. Obviously you'll have to be connected to the internet for this, but it's almost instantaneous. Black wins in 23 moves after King B1. If you want more information, click there. You can see some of the other options. B4, black wins in 23. King A2, black wins in 18. B3, black wins in 15. That's obviously moves that white makes. So there you go, very simple setting up a position in Hayek's Chess Explorer.